hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to fish academy okay uh today's video we want to do something spectacular something unique uh due to the calls that i've been receiving uh people asking what are the various sizes of fish which type of fish can i stock which one is good for this particular pond and uh, which one is good for transportation which one is good so we are going to address all that in this video all right and right here is uh the fish that we are going to use for this practical and we have uh, our meter rule here 30 cm we have our digital scale and then we have bucket of uh, water all right so we're going to uh, show you various sizes of fish starting from uh, a jumbo down to the very the smallest the one people sell uh, uh i'm going to show you everything so that you know the one that you actually bought and uh, maybe why your fish are not doing well or why they are doing well so let's start with this we're going to in each uh, what we are going to do is that we're going to weigh each of the fish and then when we weigh them we're going to take it to the meter rule so that we see it in cm all right so don't forget if you like what you are going to see just give this video a thumbs up and then immediately after the, uh, we, or if you are new to this channel then look below the video click on the subscribe button once you click on the subscribe button also endeavor to click on the notification bell this will enable you to be notified whenever we bring you new video video like this as i said we're going to be doing much practicals fish academy channel for those of you that are old to this channel you know that it's all about practical we've done practical on so many things so you got to join them if this is your first time so we're going to start with this All right, so before uh, I put the fish into the scale, I'm going to introduce a little of water into the bowl. And then switch it on. You see how, what is running there? All right, so what we have there is zero. Let me... That's what we have there. That is zero. All right. So I'm going to put this fish into this now. You allow it to steady somehow. Okay. What we have there, uh, that's 69. That is 69 grams. All right. So I'm going to also take that same fish down so we weigh we we check it in centimeter all right so from 1 cm to this we are having what we're having the 20 centimeter all right Okay, so what are the importance of stocking fish of this size? All right, and um, for those of you that uh, have eaten pawn, and then maybe you just want to buy to stock immediately, these are actually the fish that is more advisable, though you can also stock your juvenile. But this fish is more advisable because predators such as... Uh, uh so many things so many predators you don't you have inside the water we find it very very difficult to eat up this fish okay and then also um we also advise whenever you are sorting your feet whenever you want to stock your fish regardless of the size of fish that the buyer give to you like me i might decide to give you very big fish and then maybe you have very few smaller ones inside all right whenever a buyer gives you fish maybe to just bless you you know aside what you demand aside what you order from then you see bigger fish in there and then it's your duty before you stock to sort out those fish don't just put them like that into the water all right so one just jumped out all right we're gonna put it back into the water as i said this is jumbo and then also if you are transporting this type of a fish then because let it not be that because someone said you can transport a uh, 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 two thousand fish inside a fifty liter keg to your destination, and then you think that it's all the sizes of fish that you can transfer with uh, that you can transfer 
uh, uh, using uh, that you can transfer 2,000 in a, in, a, in a 50 liter rubber. Now, some of the bigger the size of fish, the smaller the quantity of fish, just like in your pond, the bigger your fish, the, the, the smaller the quantity uh, you stock in your pond. So this is it. All right. So I'm going to put this back into the water. And then the next one I'm going to bring out is going to be uh, post-juvenile. Okay. This is a post-juvenile. So we're going to put that into our scale now. All right. All right. So I'll put it off and... Uh, I own it again. All right, so what we have there now is zero. You see there? That's zero. Okay, so I'm going to put it into the scale just as I did for the other one. Then we're having 20, we're having 26, 26 grams. That is 26 grams and then we're going to also bring it bring that out and then try to measure it using the meter rule all don't forget you can get all the sizes of fish from our farm fish academy farm we have all the sizes um all right so what do we have here uh, so this is 15 centimeter 15 centimeter all right so you can also stock this you can also stock this size of fish in your farm and then maybe in your eating pond we do advise Whenever you take your fish, whenever you are giving fish, please endeavor to take it to the nursery. Grow it in the nursery first before sending it to the grow out pond. Okay, that will enable uh, you cop or reduce mortality in the farm because fish they grow differently. So I, I I do receive some call. People say, ah, my fish some are bigger than some. Certainly, just like human beings, some growing taller than some. Same is fish in the uh, uh, where uh, in uh, in the pond. Even in the river, in the sea, they don't grow the same. All right. So uh, we're gonna take the we're gonna take another one from here. All right. So there is it is very very important to also ask questions to know the sizes of fish that your supplier is intending. I mean, the size of uh, the brew stock that is being used or that was being used to breed your fish is very very important some people just go ahead they pick smaller fish maybe because they can't get they can't lay hands or maybe the bigger one is expensive and they pick uh, less than one kg female or thereabout and they breed certainly the the, the offspring the seed will certainly look like the parent and very very few who might be the one that will come up a little bit uh, uh, bigger than the parent so the parent of the fish matters a lot that's why in fish academy the parent matters a lot to us and we use fish of uh, from 3 kg and above some of them 4 kg 4.5 kg that is what we use in breeding a fish so i'm going to bring out the next one okay i'm 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 also going to take you down to where we have our 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 the other time the last video i brought from this i showed you guys our fries when they were 14 days old uh yesterday we transferred yesterday when they were uh yeah today makes them four weeks okay today thursday makes them at uh, wednesday makes them four weeks all right so i'm going to show you where we've transferred them to and their sizes also all right they are four weeks and i, I have one of them in here I have one of them in here. So the next one I'm going to bring out now is the juvenile. So many people don't know the size of juvenile. This is a juvenile fish. So I'm, I'm also going to scale it, then take it to the uh, to, to the meter rule. So you see the size of a juvenile. All right. So let I put off the scale and I turn it on again. 
and what we are having there okay see calibrating or oh, all right it's taking much time it's taking much time uh, some of you might ask why do you decide to pour water into into the bowl before uh, weighing scaling your fish yeah especially if you are trying to uh, if you are trying to scale a lot of fish uh, if you are trying to scale I think I got to oh 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 there was a little a lot of a uh, disruption here so it couldn't return to zero so I put it on and I do it again all right so we have zero there so I'm gonna put the fish inside So we have uh, we have 12 grams we have 12 grams so 12 grams is the size of our juvenile uh, some people sell 10 but we sell from uh, from yeah 12 grams is the size of a juvenile all right so we're going to also take same put it inside I uh, take it to the meter row so you see the length uh, of the fish So this is the meter rule, and then what are we having here? Oh, stay one place. Oh, oh no, I think there's a little of water here. Oh, okay, so let's see what we have here. You see that 12, uh, 12 grams, 12 cm, 12 grams. 12 cm so you can also stock this in your farm um is especially if you are a beginner we do advise please go for juvenile that is what we do advise because it's very very important to uh, it's easier to start up with juvenile than starting up with the fingerlings especially the type that i'm going to show you most of the time people do buy i hope this fish have not swallowed it up okay is inside here it's still inside so you can start up your farm with juvenile okay and then uh, also don't forget to sort them very very well before you stock we still have this in our farm in good number so I'm gonna put it back so the next one I'm gonna bring that is uh, the next one I'm gonna bring out is the standard fingerlings standard fingerlings Okay, we have standard fingerlings. Oh no. Okay, I think that okay. Okay, after post after the, the juvenile, we're gonna have what we call uh, standard uh, post fingerlings. That's what I want to bring out now. I'm gonna take you down to our nursery so that you see all those fish that I'm talking about standard post fingerlings all right oh the fish are very very smart come on very 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 smart all right so there's a standard post fingerlings they have no food in the abdomen and then let me on the scale calibrate it to zero all right you can see that that's zero so i'm gonna put this inside standard post fingerlings you see that that's eight grams okay seven we're gonna take that as seven that's seven grams All right and then we're gonna take it down to the meter rule so we check the length this should be a male fish should be a male fish okay so down to the meter rule we okay to the meter rule we have uh we have uh okay we have we have here nine nine centimeter nine centimeter for the standard uh, post fingerlings all right let me show you clearly all right so i'm going to take the camera there can you see that that's nine that's nine centimeter for our post uh, fingerlings 
Uh, so we can we also advise if you don't have the uh, the uh, capacity getting uh, the the juvenile, then you can also go for this. But also ensure before you take them to your grow pond or anywhere at all, even in your nursery, endeavor to sort them very well. All right. So after this uh, uh, post fingerlings, we're gonna bring out uh, standard fingerlings. Standard fingerlings. This is how is this is how uh, a standard fingerling is supposed to look like. All right. So I'm gonna scale it, okay, so that you see. Though we have two, we have two types of uh, fingerlings. We have uh, we have as I said, this is a standard. Then there is a smaller one, and that one is the last uh, uh, size of fish anybody can buy. All right. Uh, and okay, so I'm gonna on, turn on the scale now. All right, so we have zero there. All right, so I'm gonna put the standard fingerlings inside it. Wow, you see what we have there? We have was okay. Okay, it's reading between four, five, three. So take average of four. Okay, so that is four grams. Four grams for uh, the standard uh, uh, fingerlings. Four grams. All right. Four, four grams. Three, four grams. Standard fingerlings. Anything outside this is not standard, okay? And then the price of this actually is different from the other one. Most people can get this and they go for the smallest of the fingerlings. All right, so if you need this, we also have this in our farm. All right, so I'm gonna bring out this now. The last set of fish a farmer can buy, which is the normal fingerlings. And this one is not that expensive at all. And they are four weeks old. What you are seeing here is a four week old fish from, uh, from my archery, the fish I showed you guys the other time. This is four weeks. So I'm gonna put it into the scale, all right? And then take it to the meter rule so that you see the size of a normal finger lens, not the standard finger lens this time around. All right, so I, I return the scale to zero. All right, as you can see, that's zero. Then I'm gonna drop it in there. Okay, you see that? That is one gram, one, exactly one gram. Normal fingerlings. All right, so the I'm going to take this before I continue. Let me take it to the meter rule, and then let's do our measurement. Very smart, I'm telling you, we have them in good number. Over hundred thousand of it, over hundred thousand of this now in our farm, which I'm going to show you any moment from now. All right, so this is take, taking it to the meter rule. We have, uh, we have. Exact, exactly, exact, exactly five, five cm, five cm. Can you see this? This is smallest of a fingerlings. After this one, we have the standard fingerlings. After the standard, you have the juvenile. After the juvenile, what we showed you next was our post juvenile and our jumbo. All right, so. In you need really need to watch this video to the end so i thank you so much for checking on this so i want to take you to i'm going to show you our, 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 our ashri pond now it has been emptied and uh, we are trying to uh, want to clean it up and then uh, uh, then uh, 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 sterilize it and then spawn again very very soon so let's go see the empty ashery how it's like but before we continue uh, if this video actually is helpful to you please don't forget to 
click on the thumbs up button and also if you are new to this channel i would like you to subscribe to this channel once you subscribe to this channel also endeavor to turn on the notification bell this will help you get our videos this will help once you turn on the notification bell you'll be notified whenever we bring you new video and also you also uh, uh the, the, there will be a display for the old ones that we've been uh, dropping on this channel so far don't forget this is fish academy your humble friend that has always been bringing about practical videos on how to go about fish farming all right sharing is caring so endeavor to share this video with your friends other farmers as i said earlier so let's move straight to the ashery pond so these are ashery everything has been emptied we moved the fish away from here yesterday today we just make them four weeks and you can see the size of the fish one grams five centimeter let's move straight to where we move the fish to so this is where we this is where we move the fish to uh there are four weeks now and then we have them over hundred thousand in here and then if you if you want to get your fish as i said fish academy fingerlings is the one of the best fish that you should actually demand for we actually uh we've increased our capacity to meet up uh, demand because we have a lot of demand and don't forget our fish they are not expensive at all they are not expensive at all when we sell fish to you we don't just leave you alone we ensure we do follow up on our fish just like have been calling uh, uh mr felix who we supply fish to in noah so this is also our nursery pond this is the old nursery pond and we still have some good number of fish in here here our uh, uh, uh in fact they are more than juvenile now and here we have our juveniles all right so can you see this Thank you for watching this video do ensure to subscribe and follow fish academy on youtube ensure you turn on your notification bell so you follow up on useful and helpful contents that are posted regularly on this channel all right so don't forget to still fish academy the farmer's guide 24 7. the pond is open like this endeavor to net it just like what you are seeing here so that predators won't come to take your fish or like the kingfisher, uh, 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 so many predators won't come to take your fish. All right, it's your humble friend, Fish Academy. I love you all. Please show your friend love by clicking on the subscribe button. I love you. Bye. Yeah, bye.